Hey everyone, it's Tammy from SketchUp for Interior Designers and today I'd like to show you how to create these scales and then save them as a scrapbook. So over here I've got my scrapbook window open and you can see that I have these available to place onto a piece of paper. So this piece of paper that I'm working on here is a six inch by six inch piece so that I can put it easily into my scrapbook. So obviously we normally work with bigger paper sizes, letter, tabloid, um, the 24 by 36. So this is a uh, paper size specifically for creating scrapbooks. So I'm gonna hop over to a blank piece of paper here. And this is just that um, letter, landscape, size, template, it's blank. So I'm gonna to need to adjust the paper size, but for now I'm gonna go ahead and just grab one of these scales and pop it onto the screen so that you can see what it looks like on a letter size piece of paper. So this one is at a quarter inch scale and then this one's going to be at half an inch scale. So you can create yours whatever size you'd like, whatever size you use the most. And um, yeah, but I'll go ahead and show you how to create these two sizes here. So first things first, I need to make the paper size a bit smaller. So I'm gonna to go to File, Document Setup, and Paper. So right now it's 11 by eight and a half. I'm gonna change the width to six, the height to six, and now I have a six by six piece of paper. And that's going to be my scrapbook page for this. Now to create the scale, I'm gonna go ahead and use the scaled drawing function. And I think I might go ahead and leave this open just as a template for myself so that I can draw exactly what you're seeing over here. Okay, so scaled drawing window. If you're not seeing this, you can go to window and open up scaled drawing. All right, so I'm gonna click on make scaled drawing and it's telling me to choose a scale. So I'll use that drop down here. And first I'll go ahead and make that quarter inch scale. So I've chosen that. I'm gonna change it from fractional to architectural. Either one will work, but I like to work in feet and inches most often, so architectural. And we've got instructions up here to click to start the drawing at scale of a quarter inch to one foot. So I'm gonna make the rectangles over here. So I'm just gonna hit the letter R and start drawing. So I'll click and release and move my cursor down and to the right. And you can see as I move it, around in the lower right hand corner that I'm seeing uh, the dimensions that I'm drawing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type them in and I'm gonna type one foot comma six, enter. And that's one foot by six inches. So now I've got my first block here that's going to be this block. So go ahead and click and release on the corner there. Same thing, one foot comma six. And this one's gonna be a two foot, so two foot comma six and two foot by six. And this last one is going to be four feet by six. Okay, so I hit space bar. So now I've got my blocks here. I'm gonna go ahead and hold down shift to select all of them. And I'll go over to my shape style window so that I can change the fill. So I'd like to change it to a darker gray or even a black. Um, you can you know, choose whatever color you like, and you can also change the stroke if you want it to be a different color. Um, of course, mine in my scrapbook is uh, the same color as the out inside. So I think I'm gonna use, I just forgot what I did, tungsten for both of them. All right, so now I can see that it is in fact quarter scale to, uh, is one foot. So I need to go ahead and add some text in there so that when I use it later, the viewer can see what's what. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit my T for text. Click here, and I'm gonna click zero for a starting point. Now, if I'd like to change that, I'm gonna go ahead and hit Command T, or you can go to Window, um, Show Fonts or Hide Fonts. And it's a little bit too big for me, so I'm gonna bump it down to nine. And I also think I'll use a different font. I'm not gonna spend too much time looking for one. Can't remember, I think I used Rockwell in the past. All right, so we're getting a little bit of a... I might have to extend. There we go. 
not quite wanting to jump down into the box. So when you get that red arrow, it means that you need to extend it. I'm still getting a little bit cut off. I may need to choose something different, but that's okay. I'm just going to leave it for now. You get the idea. All right. Maybe I'll even center it there. Okay. Fine. I think that's a happy medium. Okay. So I've got zero and you can change the color of your text as well. And then change to the same color um, as the scale itself. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit my option key, hold that option key down and hold down shift. And I'm just going to go ahead and add in those other numbers. one is at zero. I'm going to bump this one to two. Let's see, so that's going to be two, four, six. And this one is going to be ten. And again, we're getting that red arrow, so we need to extend the box. Okay, so you might want to add a four in there as well. Let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we've got our scale and I'm drawing all of these texts while I'm still inside of the scale so that when I click off of it and select it, it kind of moves as one. So if I click out of it, I want to make sure that I double click back into the scaled drawing grouping um, just so that, yeah, it stays all together when I bring it onto the page. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and type scale equals quarter inch. Let's see, actually we're going to do scale quarter inch equals one foot zero inches. Okay, so I want this to also be the same font as these guys. So I'm going to go ahead and use the eyedropper. The eyedrop. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to bump out of that. So we're going to eyedrop and then apply it here. So now I'll double click back in. line that up. Again, it's giving this font is giving me some trouble. So I'm going to go ahead and extend up that window there. All right, so that's looking pretty good. So when I click on it, everything is all together, it moves as one. And in this blue text, it's showing me what the scale is. So when I if I were to place the scale onto a drawing that is a quarter of an inch to one foot, um, it will show me, you know, of course, we'll have a good frame of reference for how long each of those lines are and our clients will be able to understand the drawing more clearly. Okay, so once I've built that, I can go ahead and build out my um, half inch uh, scale using the same method. You can use different styles if you'd like. You don't have to use rectangles. Um, you saw over here, let's see, back to our scrapbook that I just used lines. Um, you can do whatever um, style you'd like to do with this, but that scaled drawing window is what you're going to be using to create that. So once you've created um, what you'd like on that page, you can also add multiple pages if you'd like to your scrapbook so that you have more than one page of scales. I am not going to do that, so I'm going to go ahead and just delete this page. But once you have your scales set as you'd like them in your scrapbook, you can go ahead and save it as a scrapbook. So I'm going to go to file. I'm going to click save as scrapbook and you're going to name it. So this is what's going to show up in your scrapbook window. I've already named this and added it. So I'm going to click cancel, but you'll name yours and choose save. So you can see that it's saved as scales in my scrapbook window. So when we first open our scrapbook window, this is what we see. We see arrows, but when I scroll down here, I can see scales and this is what I see. So if I'd like to add these to any other pages, I can just click on it and then click on my page. So I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments.